Today, I wanna to share with you a free tool that you can use to find leads for your business. And there's two major ways that you can go about this. If you want to target clients who use a particular theme, plugin, software, technology, or something similar, this is going to allow you to be able to extract a list of websites that use that specific technology so that you can target them. The second way that you're able to do this is if you want to search for websites that use a specific keyword on their homepage, that we can really target the exact type of clients that you want to serve. That is going to allow you to pull a list of leads based on that keyword as well. So what I want to do is I want to show you what this free tool is and actually how to very, very quickly extract this information really just in a matter of a minute or two. And I also want to mention that if you are serving a client, this tool is also going to give you immediate access to what their competitors are doing and how they have set up their site, everything from their hosting, their marketing and the analytics tools and what's being used to convert traffic. And if you have a potential client, this is a great tool that will give you immediate access to exactly how this business's website is set up. So that way, if you need to be able to speak like you know what you're talking about and have all of the background information on their website literally in a minute, this is going to do that for you. So it can really help enhance the conversations that you have with potential clients. But back to the leads, let's jump over. I want to show you exactly how to get these leads very quickly with this tool. The tool we're going to be using is called Built With, and they do have both a free and a premium plan, but we're going to be looking at what you can extract from Built With completely for free today. So as I mentioned, if you want to search for any leads that use a particular technology, plugin, software, tool, any of this, you can search right here. So we're going to be looking at this new technology report, and let's say we want to search for a tool like Hotjar. So this allows them to run heat maps and different tasks like that on their website. So here we have all of the live Hotjar sites. And as you can see, there are nearly a million sites that are using Hotjar. But let's say we really want to narrow that down just a bit. Well, now we can start looking at a specific country here. Now, if we wanted to look at all of the ones in the United States, which is about half of the websites using this software, we can look at the UK, Brazil here. But as you continue to scroll down here, what you're also going to see is that we can target Hotjar websites with up to a million social followers, Hotjar websites with up to 100K social followers. Let's see, this also breaks it down by sales revenue. So again, if you're trying to target specific types of company that are bringing in certain levels of revenue, you're not looking for maybe $10 million companies, but you're also not looking for companies that are within their first year of business or barely off the ground, then this is gonna help you manage uh, that revenue there. So that is really, really helpful. So as you can see, there's all kinds of ways to filter this down, employees and, and so on. Here we have other countries. So let's say we want to break this down by the estimated revenue Hotjar websites in the $10,000 sales revenue. So that's a little bit lower. So let's say we're gonna go with the $1 million sales revenue. But again, whatever you select is fine here. So we're gonna create this report. It's going to add that to our reports dashboard and we can click into that. And as you can see, we now have a big list here of all of the websites. We can see their location. We can see their sales revenue, how much money they spend on technology. So this is really important as you're going through these lead lists. When you say, that they have a budget or that they've been spending zero dollars on technology, well, that can be that they do need some help, but that also could mean that they're on a tight budget and they're not trying to spend any money on technology or marketing services. So that can be very telling there. This gives you an idea of their followers, the number of employees, how much traffic they're getting. So all of that is really, really helpful. So let's say we want to contact uh, this second one right here. We're gonna drop this down here. Now you're gonna be able to get some of the contact information. So we can view their website, we can go and view a more detailed profile, but this is going to give us the phone numbers, but this is also going to give us a list of different people who have worked or are working within this company. Some of the social profiles here, 
And then we have a list of email addresses that they have found. So some of these are gonna be general, some of them you're gonna be able to match to the people that are on this list, but you'll also be able to reach out to them, let's say on LinkedIn, or be able to search for emails on Google in other ways that way as well. This gives you some additional information about the website there. So that is really, really helpful here. And as you can see, we're able to export this information here. We can download an Excel spreadsheet of this and be able to have all of that information right there. Now from the trends section of Built With, which by the way, I'm going to leave the links to all of these down below in the description so that you can access them really quickly. But here we have all of the web technology usage trends. So let's say we want to look for analytics and tracking. And as you can see, we have all of these subcategories here. And let's say we wanted to look at A-B testing. Now this is going to show us which tools are actually being used. So we have Google Optimize, which is what 50% of the top million sites are using. We have Mixpanel Optimize, Lead Visual Website Optimizer, and then 14% other. So if you are trying to really narrow down who you wanna serve or the technology that they're using, that, you, that way you can get really, really good at something specific and then be able to go out and market to those types of businesses or anyone using a particular technology software plugin then this is a good way to generate some ideas for this too. But if we wanna gain some more information or gather some leads, what we can do is we can come down to this list here and let's say we want to focus on Visual Website Optimizer. So we'll click on this and we can see some stats about the usage of this. We can see a little bit of a decline there, so that will give us some information. Uh, we can also see a bit of the market share and who's gaining on there. And this also gives us some more competitors and other similar ones, so again, we have that full list there. But if we go to the top, we can also see the number of countries here and really the percentages of the live sites using this technology. But notice here, this big red button, download the lead list. So we can click on that and as you can see, we are back at this list that looks like the one we saw before. And again, it is giving us the sites, the location, their sales revenue, how much they spend on technology, social following employees, the amount of traffic that they're getting. And again, we can click through and we can start to get some of the contact information for them. So that is really, really helpful. So now we can also look for different leads by keyword. So here we are in the keyword list section. Now what we can do is we can simply type in some keywords here, or we can also go down here by category. So let's say that we were focusing on a travel site. This is going to give us a list of websites that have travel on the homepage. But as you can see, this is gonna be a lot so we can download the full list here. But again, what is even better is to really use some of these report suggestions so we can narrow it down by a specific country that we want to target in or a specific technology spend or, or so forth, any of the other filters that are down here. So that's really helpful and a better way to get a more specific lead list there. But going back to the keyword website list, Let's say that we're gonna focus on plumbers in Phoenix. So do you see how this is even more specific for us? Now this is gonna give us a list of 183 websites that have the keyword plumber Phoenix on their homepage. So here we have this whole list, we can see the countries they're in, but again, pay attention to the technology spend. And we're getting some of the zeros here, but we have some people, $50, $100, a couple more $100. So they're at least spending because they're trying to work on their marketing here. We have 250, $500, $1,000 a month. So this can really help you figure out who you need to be targeting here. And again, being able to click down into here and get some more information about this particular business, some of the contact information, so you can start reaching out to them as well. Now we also have the lead discovery list here and you can start a new discovery here or you can go back to one of the ones you've previously run. So now we can select from some of the keywords here. So I'm gonna look at plumbing, Phoenix, and we're gonna focus on residential. And now you can see it has brought up a list of websites for us. We have 10 out of 124 because we're on the free plan here, but this is giving us 10 websites. It tells us what their technology spend is, but it's also gonna tell us their location. This tells us how many uh, phone numbers they have, number of people that they have, the email addresses, social. Um, but over here, you're gonna see some of these other icons here. So for instance, MA, this is marketing automation. We have live chat, tag management, conversion optimization, A-B testing, lead generation, retargeting, 
an e-commerce element. So this is going to tell you that based on these 10 sites here, which of these has most of these. So we can see this business right here very clearly is using a number of these technologies and is likely working on their marketing. So this is where we can look at some of these other businesses and compare. Well, we see these, this business here, that is one of your top competitors. They're doing a lot with their marketing from this, 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 and this. So you can go in and help them. You can also take some of these top companies and go in and do an audit on them and see how effective their marketing really is to see if you may be able to help them get even better results from what it is that they're trying to do. So this is a great way to get some of that. If we want to take this off and we wanted to say services or we wanted to say commercial, so then this is going to give us a different list here. And again, we can see that that same business there is, is really working on a, a lot of this. But if we go into some of these other businesses, we can see what they have and make some recommendations recommendations about what others are doing that they may want to consider as well. But again, you can just play around with these keywords here and that's going to help generate more of a list for you. If you click on these keys here, this is going to give you some more keywords based on that site as well. But hopefully this gives you some really good insight into how you can use Built With to not only just extract leads for your business, but also a way that you can go in and look for some potential types of clients you may want to serve that you haven't considered, or especially if you're really trying to figure out who your target audience is, that this can help give you some ideas too. Let me know if you use Built With or if you are thinking about it now that you have seen this. I would love to hear from you down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.